I'm taller than you. <laughs> you should probably. What's that? I should probably restart. Why? For Kate. For for Kate. Alright, well, we're in a minute. Basically, today's video is about updating you on the whole pregnancy, how far along we are, and everything. Yeah, and if you think that my hair looks weird, you are right, because look at that. Yeah, I had plans to flat iron my hair today, and Liam and Claymore had other plans. I was projectile vomiting uh, during the weekend, and well, um, some of it got into my hair, so I had to wash it. So yeah. Good times. I have a splinter in my foot because I decided to walk out here barefoot, so. She doesn't have the Hawaiian feet. Excuse me. That's an insult. No! Hawaiians walk barefoot everywhere. Yo, can I get it out with my finger now then? Elijah, I'm this close to shoving it this farther close? in. Or okay, you know what? We're, we're just going to shoot the video and I'll get it out after. I'm just sitting like this. <laughs> Until I... Like... perform Liam. Doesn't he look nice? Look nice. On Friday, I went to the PD. No, I did not go to the pediatrician. <laughs> I went to the OBG riot on Friday, and I have like an appointment. Um, okay. <laughs> this is why I don't upload videos. Easy. Mm -hmm. You should walk up barefoot more and you get my Hawaiian feet. No, I don't want your Hawaiian feet. I like my little foot of nails. feet. Anyways, um, on Friday I went to the OBGYN. I actually had an ultrasound. I did not know that I was going to have an ultrasound or I would have had Eli with me, but like when I went in for the miscarriage, if you watched that video, like they didn't do any type of ultrasound when I told them that I was pregnant. Um, or anything like that. So I didn't expect this place to like do an ultrasound like on day one, but they did. Um, so I went to a different OBGYN than I had intended to because first of all, my insurance changed. And so it wasn't eligible for the OBGYN that I went to with Claymore and Liam. I did intend to go to the doctor who delivered Liam because I really liked her. Um, it was not my OBGYN, but she was just like so calm and amazing and I had no tears because of what her and her like, like the person who was helping her out did. Um, so I was excited about that and I wanted to go to her office, but she is like booked until mid-June. So um, that I wasn't about to wait because like I just wanted to make sure that everything was fine and I wasn't having like an epitopic pregnancy or anything like that that's like dangerous. Um, yeah, so I set uh, an appointment with the next one that I knew about that I was referred to at the hospital when I was having the miscarriage. Um, and I actually really like it there. It was a male doctor, which I was nervous about, um, but I got an appointment with the midwife, so I was happy because like I feel more comfortable with female doctor than male doctor. Um, but at my other OBGYN office, the female like practitioner, I guess, there was really like, rude and kind of abrasive and so I chose the male doctor like over her but Eli was with me at every appointment that I went to so I felt more comfortable um but typically I'm all about like female doctors but anyways huh so with the ultrasound that I was completely unprepared for and I'm not gonna say anything else about that um we found out that I am nine weeks I was nine weeks and six days pregnant on the Friday that I went. So today I am 10 weeks and three days, I think. Yeah, yeah. So every Saturday I'm like another week. So this coming Saturday I will be 11 weeks. That took way too long. Okay, so this is our little one right here. Little, little bean. Okay, so the baby's like really tiny. We don't know the gender yet. I think that's more like of an obviously thing. I have another appointment in two weeks. And, um,. Yeah, that is pretty much everything with like the OBGYN appointment. I forgot to tell the doctor that I'm having like a few spikes of pain in the bottom right side of my back and I was going to call her but I totally forgot. That's kind of just been the mood lately like thinking about something one minute and then forgetting it the next but I think it's normal so we're just going to go with it. 
Anyways, um, also they gave me this bag that I have not even looked at yet. They said there's tons of stuff that are gonna help me, so we're gonna like go through this and see what's in there. Uh, I'm just gonna like lay stuff out and try to figure out what it is, and then I'll look at it. Okay, these are, I think this is a prenatal vitamin, prenatal dietary There's supplement. There's like two of these. Something like that. I think they're testers, so you can like check if you want. Yeah. Prenatal dietary supplement? There's like two soft gels in those, and three in the Whoa. Oh, they're not that big. I've taken bigger prenatals than that before, so it's not bad, but prenatal dietary supplement. I think it's prenatal. $10 off coupon. Healthy eating for your pregnancy journey. What do they recommend we eat? I wonder. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> There's literally one recipe in here. Roasted or raw beet salad. And then banana and almond butter roll up. Mm. Oh, there's two. Man, okay. I can't. Banana, what? Two tablespoons almond butter. One whole wheat tortilla. One banana peeled and cut in half lengthwise. Cinnamon to taste. I just don't like the taste of like soft yeah, shell tortillas. Trying to starve the pregnant women? Because uh, the pregnant women uh, are supposed to eat. Not be on a diet. <laughs> prenatal. What's the difference between these two prenatal dietary supplements? This one contains soy and fish tuna. Contains soy and anchovies. Okay, so I'm not eating those. Um, <laughs> this is what a non-disclosure policy for the place that I'm going to. Oh yeah, and also the due date. We found out what the due date was, which you were probably waiting for. I wrote it down on this piece of paper, so you remember how I said I just keep forgetting stuff? Yeah, I just remembered. Anyways, um, our due date is December 28th, which is very interesting to us because that is the day before my brother's birthday, um, Craig, who passed away uh, some years ago. So it's very interesting because both of the boys were born in April, and he passed away on April 23rd. Claymore's born on April 18th, and Liam's born on April 28th. Um, but Liam's due date was like closer to the 23rd and then this baby's due date is the 28th of December which is very interesting not saying that the baby's gonna be born on their exact due date um, but it's just it's just interesting um, thermometer ten dollars off of a thermometer this is just tons of stuff gift card stuff that I'm probably not going to use. Breast pads, oh nursing God. pillows. Wait, so it's actual like $40 on these different websites and 40 and 60? I guess. <clears throat> I never that's go insane. on these That's actually so. insane if that's... I just always think that like when they're giving you stuff like this, the stuff must be expensive, but I'm gonna like check it out and see. Must be. Well, like, it probably see. is. Um, JCPenney, photo shoot, this is cool. Oh, photo shoot. In one free session. Therapeutic yoga. <clears throat> what if I start yoga, Elijah? Wouldn't be a bad idea. What if I start belly dancing? I think it would look good. I would look good belly dancing? Um, and this is just paper. Pregnancy consultation stuff. So, oh, and then there are these bottles. Which, I think this is for breast milk or formula, I'm not sure. But, yes. We have a lot of stuff. Does it say BPA free though? No. Do we want to bet it doesn't? Yeah, I figured. It doesn't say that. How rude. Okay, anyways. <clears throat> We're putting these back in the bag now. Is there something else I needed to say? Oh yeah, so. On, was it Saturday? What night was it that I was like, that I threw up like really badly? That was just last night. That was last night? Yeah. Was it the night before last night? Because last night was Kate's birthday. Night before, I'm sorry. It wasn't no, okay. before. Okay. 
Um, all right, so the night before would have been Sunday night, right? Okay, yes, so Sunday on Sunday night, <clears throat> I have been doing decently, right? Like I've been eating, okay, first of all, <clears throat> first, before I say I've been doing decently, I'm just gonna say I have been doing terribly with the whole cooking anything from the grocery shopping haul. Like, first of all, we got banned from videotaping in Aldi and we also got banned from videotaping in Lidl unless it's like just pointed at Claymore on his cart pushing. So we're not gonna be videotaping in stores anymore because it's just gonna be kind of, I don't know. So I just don't wanna get in go, trouble for videotaping for in a grocery store. Like I don't yeah. wanna be that person. Like he just like the only places we go. gets arrested or like escorted out of my local grocery store just because like somebody told me not to do something and then I still do it like I'm just not that person. Fine, I, mean. I know oh, you just never know what could happen. Anyways, like <clears throat> I we have videotaped like so many times in Aldi. No one has said anything to us at all. We never get in like people's way or anything like that. And um, the funny thing is when they told us that we couldn't videotape. Eli was just videotaping Claymore in the cart. Like, he was, like, just pointing it down the at him in the cart. Is that, yeah, it was me who ended up. Me. <laughs> it's fine, though. The one though. time I like, picked up the camera. It would, it could have been either. It was, like, whoever was holding the camera would have been. Yeah, like, I wasn't even pointing it at anything. Yeah, I was literally pointing at Clay. Yeah, I don't know. And but, this lady just, oh, sorry, you can't record in here. Yeah, she was kind of really rude about it, though. Like, the way she said, I was like, did she even say, like, anything before that? It was like, you can't videotape in here. Like, that's all the part that I heard, because I was, like, kind of away from the cart at the time. But I just heard, like, a loud, like, it was just, like, obnoxiously loud. Like, you didn't need to be that loud. Like, you, she was right by him. Like, she could have said, sorry, you can't videotape in here. Um, you know, like, it's just our policy. But she was just like, you can't videotape, like, to make a, a scene of it. And I was just like, are you serious? Like, it was kind of annoying. Um, but yeah, we're not videotaping again uh, in the grocery store. So when I start cooking again, we're going to make cooking videos instead, like what we cook in a week type thing. So, yeah. Um, it wouldn't be, it, <clears throat> the content wouldn't be very interesting. We've just been ordering out like every night sushi. Yeah, really. Like, You'd just be seeing sushi. All the stuff I've been craving right now is like sushi. What else? Pizza, like super pizza, greasy like just pizza. Super, like, like, I dream about super greasy pizza. Uh, like the gamer food is what you've been craving. Greasy pizza, mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes are you so good. Though, like potatoes, baked potatoes, <clears throat> like microwave potatoes with ranch. <sighs> that's her thing, no matter if she's pregnant or not. Yeah, that's true. Although when I was pregnant with Claymore, all I was like craving was salmon. And French fries and tartar sauce, and that was like oh, tartar sauce bomb. Was huge for but you. the tartar sauce has to be a specific like Ken's tartar sauce is really good. <clears throat> a lot of other tartar sauces are like, <clears throat> bleh. but anyways, <clears throat> we're not tartar saucing today. We're just basically, oh yeah. But anyways, we haven't been like going out to eat that much this week. Like, I yeah, think the thing that turned me off from eating was like we went like eating out at a restaurant is like we went to Olive Garden and we spent like 50 bucks there. Oh. I was just like, bro, like this is one single meal. Yeah, like there's barely drinks. like we got yeah. meals. Like I don't know. That's like I was just like, yeah. okay, I don't want to like so we've been like ordering food to where like we can take food home and stuff and like it lasts for like a couple of meals. I've been doing good except like on Sunday night I needed to order more sushi because like like I said in my last video if I don't eat what I'm craving I just throw up and it's like really really bad but this was like by far the worst throw up because I didn't even know that it was coming and I was just like the boys were sleeping and I just went to the bed and was like looking at them and being like in a mom moment like oh they're so cute type thing and then all of a sudden I felt like puke coming up my esophagus and I was just like, no way. So I like jumped off the bed. And as soon as I jumped off the bed, it just started coming out my mouth. And I'm over the carpet, like in the room, trying to get out the room. And so I like cover my mouth like this. And then it just starts shooting out in like, it bounced, I think it like bounced off my hand and shoved up my nose. And then it went in my eye also in my hair. And it was like all over the wall and everywhere. Like as soon as it went up my nose, I couldn't breathe. So I went like this. And then I hit my do hand on the door. Like my arm still hurts yeah, right here. Scared like me. I, <laughs> I was doing, so I was like doing the clothes or something. And then I just hear boom. Then, <laughs> yeah, that like, was my arm hitting the door. I was like, what, I was like, trying I, to I run like, I was like, what is to going the 
bathroom, one. and I ended up having to like <clears throat> run to the sink in the bathroom. That's all I could get to because I couldn't open the toilet. I was still like throwing up a lot, and I was like, oh gosh, please don't let me like clog the sink. It's because instead of eating the sushi, like ordering the sushi, I ate a salad. Like I, because we went grocery shopping, and I got like a salad mix, and I was like, oh, I could maybe just eat a salad with like like sunflower seeds I think it was in like ranch <clears throat> yeah it didn't work out well and then so I was like throwing up a lot but it was really bad because like it went up my nose and I had this like burning in my head like you know when you jump into a pool and the water shoots up your nose that's like what it felt like and I was just like I always thought that it was just because of like the chlorine like burning your head or something like that when you like jump into the pool or something that's the worst feeling. but like it felt bad like so bad and I was like super shaken because like the way that I was throwing up was super violent and I've never thrown up that way before like I felt like I was trembling and and then it was like everywhere like it was in my hair it was everywhere and I felt really embarrassed like even though Eli seen me throw up so many times this was like by far the worst time and I just felt like like I kept on apologizing I could barely talk though and he was like you know don't apologize it's fine it's fine and like he cleaned it up while I was taking a shower and I felt really bad but like he's such a good husband thank you <laughs> But yeah, um, it was really, really rough, and I was, like, crying, and I didn't even know, like, my, even after, like, an hour, I think it was still an hour after, like, when I went to bed, it was still burning, like, my throat and my nose still felt, like, very, like, itchily, like, weird, but when I woke up the next morning, I was feeling, like, a lot better, like, back to normal, but it was really bad, and then... Now, I'm just like, you know what, if I want something, I'm just, like, gonna get it, like, no matter what time it is, because, like, I just don't want that to happen again. It was really scary, honestly, like, it was a lot of puke, too. It was, like, I thought that you only could puke up what you ate, but, like, it seemed like there was so much <laughs> Yeah, from a salad. It was so Finish. much in there, like, I know I drink a lot of water, that might have been it, because I was, like... <laughs> We were shaking, water. Like it was but it was scary. everywhere it was all over it was all over the wall all over the carpet like there was like some laundry on the ground like in the hallway I <laughs> puked all over it thank god it was like dirty yeah. but like yeah it was yeah. it was rough and the bathroom floor and then and then I thought I got it sink. all and then we went in the room and she and it was out plastered more. all over like, our wall uh, I didn't see that gosh and I, it was... yeah, I had to go get more white more paper towel. Yeah. More spray. Oh my gosh. <sighs> yeah, so <clears throat> it's been it's been rough. Honestly, like it's been rough but good. Like we're excited. We're very excited. Um it's definitely worth it. Like I'm not complaining. I'm not saying like, you know, it's so hard or anything. It's definitely gonna be and is already worth it. I'm super happy. And I'm probably going to be like showing you my stomach very fre frequently now because I just, I don't know, I'm kind of like obsessed with my own baby bumps and stuff because like, yeah, so <clears throat> we are going to be showing you baby bumps. Well, I'm going to be, like I think I want to do a compilation where I do like, you know, like a video every week, like a little snippet of like showing my stomach or whatever and then like the progression. So if I get fat, I remember like the moment where I got fat, like you know what I'm saying? Anyways, um, yeah. <clears throat> what are we most excited about? Oh, we have a name picked out for a girl, as I already said in my last video if you watched it, but it was an hour long, so I don't blame you if you didn't watch it. But, um, so last night was Caitlin's birthday, and we, like, told everyone, like, everyone being my mom, my dad, my sisters, and my little brother. And so we told, and my grandma, and we told everyone, like, what the name was for a girl and everyone really likes it so that's good but for a boy we still have nothing so, yeah, like, so we're gonna figure it out but leave in the comments below whether you think it's a boy or girl and what do you think we should name like the baby if it's a boy because we really need some suggestions this because like we need something that flows like claymore liam and you know what i'm saying anyways I guess. You remember Angus. that? And I was like, oh, the Angus, Angus. Burger at McDonald's. Oh like, that's all gosh. I can think about. So, um, 
Um, what was I saying? Please help us with a name. Oh yeah, yeah. If you're good at names, <laughs> just like let us know. Um, yeah. What else was I gonna say? You on the say? Hmm. 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 Are you guys excited about the baby? Is it gonna be a boy? Is it gonna be a girl? Oh! This time, okay, uh, every time we ask them, they say yes to a boy and a girl. But this time, they didn't say yes to the boy. So, you wanna switch? You wanna go to Daddy Clay? This is the sentence you said, man, like, no? oh, I don't know. No, you don't it's wanna like go to Daddy Clay. he's trying to trick me, or, or, or I know already. Oh, Cause he was like, oh, I like, I said, I know you're fit already, but I do like all Hey, you said the name on camera. We're not supposed to say it yet. Sorry. Okay, I'll cut it up. Anyways. Uh, okay, other things that are like really important right now is like basically we are focusing on moving out. As you know, we are moving out in two months, hopefully. Um, but honestly, it could be any day because apparently we were supposed to turn in paperwork for like recertification. We turned in paperwork to renew the lease in March. Um, but there was like a recertification that we were supposed to turn in apparently and they said that we had to the 31st and then on the 21st they said no 22nd they said that we were supposed to turn it in on the 21st and that we had to turn in our keys the Friday after the 21st um, unless we turned in the recertification paperwork that like weekend and so uh, it's been like a crazy like kind of journey thing because like this is the same predicament they had us in when I was moving in, when we were moving in, because they made us wait like months to tell us if we were approved or not, even though we gave them all the information that they needed. Yeah, we had no idea where we were going to live if we didn't move here. Um, but like, we were going to do that in another video because like, it's like something that we're going through right now, so I basically have been trying to get in contact with the office and ask them like if everything's fine with the paperwork and they keep on telling me that it's processing, which is great because like basically they could just tell us like any day like you didn't get approved or whatever and then we would have to move out in like probably seven days or something, which is not ideal, but we have been trying to sell everything just in case. Um, all the things that we're not gonna be taking into the new place with us. And speaking of the new place, we just went and did a tour of the new place. So basically, we're gonna be paying a lot less rent there, um, but we have two months to build it to like, <laughs> to what we want it to be. We're not gonna be building it, but my dad and uncle are going to be doing it because it's an unfinished area. Um, so everything that is here pretty much is not gonna be going with us. Like there are just very few things that are gonna be going with us, like the TVs, the TV stands, the sofa, the beds, and the dressers. I think <laughs> that's pretty much trying to get rid of. And everything else is gonna go. So we're trying to like- Be simple book. Exactly, but I mean, no. we will give you like a tour of like the everything. Like I have video footage of all of it, like unfinished, and then when it's finished, I will also show you that. So it's a race against the clock. I'm super excited about it. I'm like not really stressed about it. If we get kicked out in seven days, well, that's just gonna happen. I mean, we're just gonna bunk with my mom and dad until everything gets finished, and then <laughs> bunk. We'll be sleeping in there. Never mind. I'm gonna stop. Okay. So, um, I mean, it's just, it's just like, it's just, I'm not trying to be stressed about something that's out of my control. That's all. Like, I used to be that person who just stressed about every single thing, and I just can't do it. Like, it just puts stress on everyone unnecessarily because, like, there's nothing you can do to change it. You just have to know that if it happens, you should be prepared for it, and we're preparing for it. So we're doing the best that we can, and that's all that we can do. And then, like, if it doesn't get completely finished in two months, then I'm pretty sure it's gonna get finished in two months because it's my it's my dad and my uncle. They they do crazy things in overnight, so I'm sure they'll get it done in two months. But anyways, um, yeah. <laughs> I think we're good, right? We're done. Yeah. Okay. So that is our pregnancy update. 
<sighs> Sorry for like chatting your guys' hands off. That's what YouTube's for. <laughs> Is it? Oh, uh, okay. Anyways, we will see you in the next. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well. Tap that, that notification bell. Okay. Thanks for watching and see you soon. More videos coming, so please stay tuned. Anyways, um, hmm. <laughs> I don't know how they get to hear the voice, because it's just that good. Funny. Yeah. Okay, so, you'll see us in the next video, which I'm not sure what it's going to be about yet, but it's probably going to be about the apartment, just because, um, that just seems like a viable option at the moment. Anyways, since we're just, like, going through all this stuff, so. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.